Hey, what's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Mini Mates figure review set on the Avengers Age of Ultron Wave 2 figures. If you're trying to pick these up, you can get them at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. Want to see the latest from DST? Click the link below. So we have repeats over here. We get a variant vision. This is a one per box. Then we get the Hydra Soldier, and then we get Rampaging Hulk, Hulkbuster Iron Man, and they get regular Hulk, and then Ulysses Claw. And then on the back of them, you can see there's a read-up, so if you want to see the one on Claw, pause it now, Hulk, pause it now, Hulkbuster, pause it now, Rampaging Hulk, pause it now, The Vision, pause it now, Hydra Soldier, pause it now! And then on the side of the packaging, you can see the figures right over there. Alright, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the figures out of the packaging. A very cool wave of mini-mates. I really like these a lot. I'm very stoked about the Vision figures. Unfortunately, though, they don't really stand on these swoosh effects too well, but they stand enough to where they're not falling off while they're on this rotating table, which I just changed the batteries out now. I've had this King Arts rotating table for a while now, just changed the batteries. But back to the Mini Mates, I really like them a lot, especially the Hulkbuster. So here's a look at the Hydra Soldiers and the Vision figures. Now, first off, these two are identical. They're the same figure, but you can rearrange them and change things out for display options. So you could take the jacket off, there it is without the jacket, and you could swap this helmet off and then put a hat on there. So each of these have, you know, he has his own hat. Oop, there just goes another helmet, but yeah, you can see you could put another hat right there on that guy. And I think these are pretty cool. I actually like the weapons that they come with. You get this nice gun right here. I like that. And you get this other machine gun looking pretty cool. Sculpted up pretty nicely. And you can see the camouflage over here. He's so angry. And then you get the hat and the hoodie and everything. And then looking at this one, minus the hoodie and all that and the jacket, you know, looks pretty cool. I like the patches that they have over here on the sides. They don't store anything, but it looks pretty cool. And all of the figures have their own little clear base, by the way. Then you're just looking at the vision figure, one of my favorite figures from this wave. I think the paint came out really clean on this. Very good deco. I really like the shiny gold that we get right over there and right over here. The legs look really good too. What I'm really impressed with is this cape. I really like this cape a lot, man. Look at that. That is awesome. Really digging that. The back of his head looks really good too. Yeah, I'm digging this. And then here's the variant version over here, which is really awesome as well. Really like the translucent plastic that they used over here for this, you know. I love the phasing effect in the movie. I just really geeked out off of that, you know. Just thought that was awesome. So yeah, both really good figures. I like both of them. And as I had mentioned earlier, the Vision figures do come with their own little flight swooshes. They don't really peg in here very well. I mean, it's staying in there all right, but yeah, as soon as you turn it upside down, it falls. So it's a little bit more loose of a fit than I'm used to for these, but it still does work. And to go over the articulation once again, I mean, the Mini Mates have, you know, more or less the same articulation, but you have a ball joint right there for the head. You could rotate these shoulders and you can move them forward and you can move them outward. They bend at the elbow, they rotate at the wrist, they turn at the waist, the legs can move out a little bit, you get a little bit of twisting right here. Here, only a little. They can move forward, you can bend them at the knee, and they rotate at the ankle. And here we have Ulysses Claw and the Hulk. The Hulk is just a little bit taller than Ulysses Claw over here, which at first I was kind of disappointed, but then when I brought out my Mini Mates Red Hulk, I'm like, oh, okay, they're the same size. So that's how Hulk figures are for the Mini Mates. But looking at Ulysses over here, I'm surprised at how once in a while Mini Mates is just able to just nail the likeness of an actor with these very simplistic designs. I just really think that looks like Andy Serkis. I don't know, I just really see the actor in this face. I like all the stubble and stuff with the deco it looks really good now it is missing that big beard that he had in the movie but still I think this is great he has his little shirt and everything and his necklace and his tattoos all over the place looking really cool and he has his one pistol weapon right there that goes into a holster right over here and then he has his knife and we just pull that out right there and that fits in very nicely so that's really good and then you can put the gun in the holster too just to see how that goes yeah, let's get this little guy in there there it is yeah so it's kind of a loose fit but it does work so yeah nice camo pants good looking figure I like this all right and there's a Hulk with the green eyes yeah Hulk teeth Hulk hairy chest very cool looking Hulk and it has this piece over it over here to bulk him up a little bit. He has these big old Hulk hands. I think this is the same molded parts that we saw in the Red Hulk. You know, if you look at those Hulk toes, compare the Red Hulk toes to the movie Hulk toes, Red Hulk toes, movie Hulk toes, all the same toes. Then we're looking at the pants. It came out with some really nice deco for him. I really like the silver right there for the Avengers A. 
There's a Hulk T-butt, and then we have some back muscle right there. So yeah, not a bad Hulk figure. I really like the highlights though in the hair too. I wanted to mention that. That's really awesome. And then here's the Rampaging Hulk and the Hulkbuster Iron Man. So first taking a look at the Rampaging Hulk. Uh, here's a comparison with other Hulk figures. So you have regular Hulk. I mean, I much pr more prefer this regular Hulk color. Uh, this grayish green color I don't remember seeing in the movie. This may be based off of like some color samples Marvel sent them or something. I don't know, but it is a bit off over here. But I do like that they added the red eyes right there, so that's cool. He has the red around his eyes, that looks really good. And he has some gray right there and his hair mixed in. So it's pretty much the same thing as the other one, you know. The purple is, looks a slightly different. And a little bit brighter purple on this one compared to this guy over here. And then here's the Hulkbuster in all of his metallic glory. I really like this piece a lot. It just looks very, very cool to me. I'm really digging this one. All kinds of sculpted out details in here. Feet look great. I think the gauntlets over here look awesome. I love the details in this color variation just between all the little parts and pieces are just painted so well. I really love this metallic red that we get over here. Got the boosters right there on the back. Just really dig this one. This is a very, very good looking Mini Mate figure. I really like this a lot. All kinds of details just all throughout. I really dig that. Plus, yeah, Mark 43! Yeah, we get a Mark 43 inside there. That is too awesome. I'm very happy about that. And then you can remove the Mark 43 head right here. And then remove this piece and then you get the 43 armor underneath there. So if you wanted to swap parts out with this one and the Mark 43 armor figure that we got in Wave 1 of the Mini Mates, you could do that. And here's what it looks like without that top piece on there. So if you want to do that, whoa. Yeah, he's got those big old legs and big old arms. Yeah, go get him, Iron Man. Now here's our Hulkbuster with the Mark 43 look compared to the Mark 43 from Wave 1. And this guy has the added parts over here with the Tony Stark head underneath. And if you want to get your Hulkbuster with the Tony Stark head on there, you can make that happen too. So you just slip this right on there and then grab Tony's head. And boom, there he goes. I just gotta grab his hair. And here that goes. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, the unfortunate thing though is that this is just terribly out of scale with the rest of the figures. Now on average, these little figures are standing at about two and a quarter inches tall. The Hulks are about two and a half inches. And then the Hulk Buster's actually shorter than the Hulk, which is quite inaccurate to how they were in the film. And here they are next to the mini big time letdown Spider-Man. And then here's Hulk and Vision added to the rest of my mini mate Avengers from the Age of Ultron movie. And I think these just look really cool. And I still need to get the Bruce Banner and War Machine 2-pack along with the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver 2-pack. I really like all these figures over here, especially this Hulkbuster, you know what I mean? Even with the inaccuracies or whatever, I still think it's a very good figure. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shark in your face. Check out my Patreon account. You guys' help is much appreciated. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel-related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Have the greed and shoe to it, but.